The standard Honda Jazz is an excellent car with low running costs and a versatile interior. The Jazz Crosstar builds on that with rugged styling and some extra equipment as standard. Its oddity factor gives it some appeal, but in truth, its relatively high price tag makes it difficult to justify. The Jazz Crosstar takes a similar approach to the Ford Fiesta Active and short-selling Hyundai i20 Active, although the Jazz's impressive versatility means it could also be considered an alternative to crossover SUV like Honda's own HRV, as well as the Citroen C3 Aircross, Volkswagen T-Cross, and Renault Capture. While it looks like a mixture of a minivan and an SUV, the Honda Jazz Crosstar is still classified as a subcompact, or as they call it in Europe, a super mini, judging from the fact it is 4,090 mm long. Every Jazz generation featured a spacious cabin focused on practicality, and the latest model takes it to the next level, offering segment leading space. The signature Magic Seats can either lift upright, creating a massive loading area, or fold flat, to make the most of the cargo space. In terms of technology, there is a 7-inch digital instrument cluster, a 9-inch infotainment touchscreen, and plenty of standard oddies, which is a must given Honda's premium pricing. European buyers can only get the Jazz with Honda's EHEV hybrid powertrain, which uses the dual motor IMMD technology. Under the bonnet, there is a naturally aspirated 1.5 liter four cylinder engine, producing 97 horsepower and 131 newton meters of torque, and two electric motors, with one of them producing 107 horsepower and 253 newton meters of torque. The Honda Jazz is available in Europe, Japan, China, Singapore, and South Africa, among other markets. Honda decided not to bring this generation of the fit stateside, since sales of its predecessor were declining. Thanks for watching. And give your comments below.